Hi, this is Taryn with the Field Guide to Lake Country. I'm here on a super special visit today with uh, my one and only very own husband, who's the head winemaker at 50th Parallel Estate Winery. So I'm just here in one of their first days of crush for the 2023 vintage. Uh, they're crushing the Pinot Gris. Yeah, so how's it going, Matt? How's this vintage going so far? It's going, it's going good. It's, we're picking in early September, so it's nice and warm and sunny outside and very comfortable working conditions. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, right? T-shirt weather. T-shirt. Not yeah. like other years, right? Yeah, some days it's October and we've been picking in the snow. And so this is, this is, yeah, comfortable and yeah. fun. Awesome. So other years I'm used to Matt not being around for my birthday at the end of October or his own birthday in the middle of November. Uh, this kind of start is an incredible uh, little bonus for our lifestyle, <laughs> which is great. So what other grapes are you growing at 50, are you using and growing at 50th parallel? Um, so our red wine is Pinot Noir. Uh, we're a Pinot Noir focused winery. Uh, lots of love and attention and passion for Pinot Noir. And then alongside that, we do aromatic whites, Pinot Gris, Riesling, Gourd Sterminer, and Chardonnay as well. Who's your team? I, I've, I've been running around catching B-roll uh, all this morning and I'm just, uh, yeah, I'd love to introduce them. I have uh, Kelsey, Kelsey Craig. She is uh, my assistant winemaker and uh, new recruit Jacob, uh, who also uh, does work in the tasting room doing his first harvest. Currently right now learning how to roll a barrel. Yeah. <laughs> which is always fun to watch someone do that. for the first time. <laughs> yeah, cool. So what would you say is your, what would you say is your Greatest blooper of all your vintages. Sorry to catch you off guard here, but I think it would be kind of. Well, bloopers in the winery are usually utter disasters and potentially yeah, life-threatening. So <laughs> I've had a couple of those, but um, what would be a funny thing that happens in the winery? Well, sometimes you get, um, uh, they're called materials other than grapes in the bins. You're always sorting your bins out and trying to find, make sure nothing random goes in the press. And sometimes, you know, we have a competition who finds the best thing. And last year I found 20 bucks in a bin. Woo! Some picker I dropped his lunch money that. and I found it. <laughs> awesome. So um, how many guys have you got in the vineyard right now? Uh, we have uh, our six uh, regular guys who come and work the vineyard every year that hail from Mexico. And we've added four on top of that. Yeah, and I, I actually know them all really well. They become like friends and they become like family. Um, so another thing that's going on here, as I was taking, as I was running around doing my B-roll, you know, just shooting little vignettes of life here on Crush Pad at 50th, and it really brought to mind something very special to us, which is our meeting time. We met here eight years ago when I was actually a stranger to Matt and I was here on a photo shoot for a magazine and we caught each other's eye. I thought he was a wonderful person, kind of cute. <laughs> and it wasn't until a couple years later, actually, that we, we really went on our first date, right? So yep. it was pretty crazy running around here, almost mimicking that day, taking my little secret shots from him and yep. catching the best moments. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. <laughs> We've come a long way. Yeah, we got married. <laughs> yeah, we've been through a lot. So, um, what's your next grape you're going to crush? Uh, we'll do rosé for Pinot Noir over the next couple of days, and then we'll start Pinot Noir red wine and Chardonnay. So, do you have any ball? Do you have any ideas of how much wine you're making this year, or is that just an, always an unknown? So, um, a little unknown. It's, it's a little unknown. It's a little less than usual, but the quality is really good. So it's a quality over quantity the year this year, which yeah. is good and bad. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. Well, I thank you, Matt. And uh, I'll see you at home later. <laughs> okay. Hey, have a good luck today. Thanks. Thanks, honey. Bye. <laughs>